Smartphones are a ubiquitous part of today's society. However, the small device that you find in your hands is incredibly complex. Cell phones are comprised of over 60 component parts manufactured across the globe. A single smartphone has 30 chemical elements in the product. Manufacturing of a smartphone requires 13,000 liters of water, and the smartphone can use more electricity in a given year than most of your small household appliances. Overall, the making and operation of a smartphone uses a lot of resources. The use of resources comes as a direct result of decisions. Decisions from consumers about desired properties, decisions from designers about aesthetics, and decisions from manufacturers about materials. The number of decisions that go into making a product is staggering. Often though, decisions in one life cycle phase are made without thinking about the implications that will result in others. For example, material choices are made without thinking through the potential disposal consequences from use of a toxic material. In order for a circular economy to come to fruition, companies must take a critical look at their products and their supply chains to determine if their resource usage, decisions, and processes are leading to a truly sustainable product. The best way to do this is to think about the smartphone or any individual product as part of a larger system. A system can be defined as an interconnected set of elements that is coherently organized in a way that achieves something. Systems are everywhere. A system can be as simple as a bathtub. The volume of water in the tub, or the system stock, is determined by how frequently you open or close the faucet. When you open the faucet, you are adding resources to the system. This represents a flow into the system. If you open the drain and water is released, you have a flow out of the system. Tracking these stocks and flows is critical to understanding the resources consumed and the potential impacts made while achieving an outcome. Using systems thinking can help to reveal the resources required to achieve a certain outcome and can also reveal the impacts of a given choice, leading companies to make more informed decisions about their products and supply chains. Let's go back to our definition of a system for a moment. If you look at that definition closely, you can see that a system must consist of three kinds of things, elements, interconnections, and an outcome. In analyzing a smartphone, we would consider the entire system in place that is needed to produce, distribute, use, and reuse or recycle the product. For a smartphone, the elements are all of the different resources that go into making the phone. This includes the materials and chemicals, the energy used to manufacture the product, and the labor required to execute all of the processes. The interconnections are how those elements fit together. How do decisions about material choices in the design phase impact the product's ability to be recycled when the consumer upgrades to a new product? How do the different chemicals used in the product interact with each other to achieve a higher function? How does the choice of materials influence employees' work environment, such as the ventilation requirements to ensure clean air for employees? The way in which decisions in different life cycle stages interact and influence one another all constitute interconnections. The outcome of the system is to deliver the phone to a customer. All of the given inputs come together to make that purpose happen. Some things to think about here include, how do decisions made influence the product lead time or time to market? Does choosing a less toxic material raise the cost of a final product? Does including a toxic material in the final product imply that the chemical will remain in circulation forever? All of these are important to consider when analyzing how decisions and resources come together to achieve an outcome. Thinking in systems is important because if we're going to enable a circular economy, then we need to start considering how a single decision has implications throughout the entire supply chain. Decisions about how products are made, used, and distributed cannot be made in isolation, and choices in one area can cause impacts in another. From where materials are sourced to the health and safety of workers, every decision made has implications for the sustainability of the product, ultimately influence the circularity of a product. Want to learn more about material choices and the product lifecycle? Stay tuned for our next video.